It is my pleasure to show you 4858 North Kenmore. We're in Uptown, we're close to the Aragon Theater, we're close to the Red Line, we're close to the lake, we're close to a lot of things here. Now it's typical, or actually atypical of this unit, is different than all the other duplexes that you usually see. They're usually a certain floor plan, usually only have the length and not the width, but we're on a double lot here, and this one is in the rear. So we have this great big outdoor space right off both your living rooms, your dining rooms, your office, however you wanna use that space over there that I'm about to show you. But then you have this space right off the kitchen too. Come on through. Now, we've put this on the market before and it's back on again. I love this feature on the doors. You've seen me demo it before, but it's great to see. Now, because this has been lived in previously, we have window treatments, we have all the things that you get that are post new construction because someone has already come in and customized the unit. Now I want you to be aware and cognizant of how big this kitchen is and right where Adam is now, let's switch spots. This space right here, perfect breakfast nook. If it was me, I'd build out a nice sitting area right here, table in the middle, maybe a tulip table, like an oblong tulip table. And then you have all this extra walking space here as well. But then you have a huge kitchen on this side, Long Island, Thermador appliances with the touch open. You're gonna to see that suck in right there. Two-tone cabinetry, double oven, microwave right here. This has all the bells and whistles and everything you'd expect and wow is it clean. You could never tell that someone actually lived here. I love how they have the black sink, pull out faucet, but a lot of times this is stainless. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's nice to match the details all the way through. Then you have your concealed dishwasher right here. Bosch, low decibels. Now what's different about this floor plan is typically you're walking in and you have that wasted family room and a duplex down, the front area of the home that really gets the exposure and use that it needs. Over here, you have this separation which creates an area that could be whatever you want. I just had a son and I think this would be his play area. I would set up everything here. So you kind of have two living rooms in this sense, but a space that actually feels like something you can use because it's a blank canvas. Typically you'll have a fireplace, and then you have a wall, and it's just kind of made for what you want it to. Plus, it's right off the entrance. So you have this 15 feet of depth of width that really isn't usable in a lot of places. Here, you get to do whatever you want, and then you have an office right here. Now, this could also be a bedroom. You can use it for anything you want, but this would totally be my office. It'd be above ground, lots of light, and notice how these open from the bottom. One thing you'll notice too is that, well, not this closet. Most of the closets are built out. Let me show you one over here that is. This would act as your front closet and the rest of the home, they're all built out. Now here, I always enjoyed the palette of this home. You have large format tiles, very good color. This was actually my favorite tile that they put in the entire property because it has these gold hues to it that really warm up the space and speak to you. Tall soaking tub, hand shower. I love when they have these that has the waterfall pour, and then of course these fun mirrors to illuminate, and then a push drawer for easy access for everything you need below. Now, let's go look downstairs. When you get down here, the first thing you're going to notice is the ceiling height. We have super, super tall ceilings here. Let's see what we're working with. Yeah, basically 10 feet. It feels larger because you're below grade and you have the high windows pushing everything through. Now, instead of a large living space down here that you can't use or just a bunch of bedrooms, you have some of the bedrooms, remember there's one upstairs, but then you have this three spaces to go to. So let's start in the primary. Let's see what that's all about. Now look at this room. I promise is gonna be one of the largest rooms you see in Uptown. I haven't seen a primary this big since we were in a single family home. This is enormous. You have the same turn and tilt windows here with the window treatments already installed, as I promised. Closets already built out. Tall eight foot doors here as well, not the smaller doors. And then you have a nice sizable bath to use. Remember, you have the full tub upstairs. You have the dual sinks here. Nice big party shower here. Linear drain right in the middle. Large format tile again. And the same type of functionality here, but you have two drawers, one for the top, one for the bottom, plus these fun mirrors. Now, closet space is huge. We have two more bedrooms down here, plus some closet space as well. 
So we come through here, we have our washers and dryers. What I like about this, this is how big this space is. You can do whatever you want here. This is probably where if you're near cleaning products you're gonna go, or you can be hanging things up. Whatever you wanna do with it, it fits me. It'll fit whatever you need. And then you have your mechanicals. Now mechanicals can be boring, but here's the important thing you wanna note. You see this? This is your radiant heating system. This is gonna reheat this entire level. That's a nice feature to have. And because of that, you also have a dual zone. So we have a nest upstairs, and we have a very fun thermostat upstairs that I'm gonna show on our way out. Then we have access to the rear. And what I like about this, I'm all about the small details, as you know. One extra layer of security. So this leads to here, and God forbid someone open, open this or leave it open, you could come right in, but you'd be stuck at this door. So I wanna have that extra layer, one more security door to get through. Now we have a relatively normal size bedroom here. We're working with 10, two by nine, five. Tall doors, tall closets, lots to hang. What I love about this is I would have something else here, maybe even something else here, but to maximize this entire space and lay it out, give you some more flexibility and utility. And then we have one more room here. And this is from the smallest parts of the room, remember. So this is nine, six by 12. That doesn't account for the doorway. And then you have this, interesting closet. So you have this for your everyday stuff, use it how you should, and then you can come through here and then this goes to this space. Now you have all your wiring here, all your low voltage, and you have the sump pump. And then our final bath to show is this one right here. We have dual sinks, stand-up shower, warm tile right here, darker tile right here, and I like how they use these long planks to give you a different format than you see in the rest of the property. I wanna show you this, come and see it. If you're looking at our properties and you're looking for something, reach out to us. I'd love to show you all that Chicago has to offer.